Hi there, this is Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll be looking at one of the ways you can query hierarchical data from an Oracle database. First, we have to create some hierarchical data. We'll try to keep this simple by using a table with just two columns. The ID column is the primary key, and the parent ID column is defined as a self referencing foreign key. With the table in place, we can insert some hierarchical data. The first row has a parent ID of null, indicating that it's a root node. All other rows link back to a parent row. The only mandatory clause in a hierarchical query is the connect by prior clause. This defines how the current row, or child row, relates to the prior row, or parent row. The start with clause allows us to define the root nodes. In this case, what we're saying is, if the parent ID is null, that indicates this row is a root node. Level returns an integer that indicates the position or depth in the hierarchy of the current row in relation to the root node. Here we're using level with RPAD to give us a visual representation of the depth in the tree. Order by siblings determines the order of the rows that all share the same parent row. Looking at the output from this query, we can see that the rows have been returned in a manner that shows the relationship between the parent ID and the ID columns. Level indicates the level of indentation in the hierarchy, which we've used to form the tree output. Connect by root is used to give us the root node associated with the current row. In this case, there's only a single root node, but there's nothing to stop us having many of these. Sysconnect by path gives us a delimited breadcrumb from the root node down to the current row. In this case, we've combined it with LTRIM to take off the initial delimiter. As expected, the output shows the path from the root node down to the current node. Connect by isLeaf has a value of 1 for leaf nodes and 0 for non leaf nodes. Let's update the data to create a circular or cyclic reference. In most database versions, this would result in a connect by loop in user data error. Unusually, in 12.102, we just get no rows returned. To cope with this, we have to add no cycle to the connect by prior clause. Connect by is cycle indicates which row would result in the cycle. We can see that the query now returns some rows and row 9 is the one that causes the cycle. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.